Can Trump walk away after Syria airstrikes? As a presidential candidate, Donald Trump pledged, if I draw a line in the sand, I will enforce that line in the sand. Believe me. A year ago, as president, when Mr. Trump ordered a military strike involving 58 cruise missiles in response to a deadly sarin gas attack on civilians, he essentially redeemed the red line that his predecessor, Barack Obama, drew in 2013. While Mr. Trump received plaudits for his willingness to employ military force, if he expected that show of force to deter the further use of chemical weapons by Syrian leader Bashar al-Assad in this brutal civil war, he was wrong. Secretary of Defense James Mattis acknowledged as much Friday night, that despite last year's strike Syria has continued to employ chemical weapons, most recently against an opposition stronghold outside Damascus. Mr. Assad, he said, did not get the message last year. So Mr. Trump, together with British Prime Minister Theresa May and French President Emmanuel Macron, launched coordinated military strikes against Syria's chemical weapons infrastructure, including the research center, storage facility and command post. There is a new red line, but what is the message behind it? What are the odds that Syria, and its key international backers Russia and Iran, will heed it? And what are the consequences if they don't? Media caption moment cruise missiles were launched from a French naval ship. Mr. Trump. Mrs. May and Mr. Macron have actually drawn a sharper red line than Mr. Obama did no further use of chemical weapons in the Syrian civil war, including chlorine barrel bombs that Syria has used routinely over seven years. While the latest strikes were described as a one-time shot, Mr. Trump threatened to take further military action should Syria use chemical weapons in the future. We are prepared to sustain this response until the Syrian regime stops its use of prohibited chemical agents, Mr. Trump said. Mr. Trump was surprisingly understated Friday night in his comments regarding Russia and Iran. In the immediate aftermath of the Syrian chemical attack, Mr. Trump promised that not just Syria, but Russia and Iran as well would pay a price for again violating international norms. <laughs>